Good day YouTubers and welcome back to Moonshine Vapor and another hardware review. And today we're looking at the Kalito 120 and also we're looking at the RTA system for the Kalito. And we've got the fat boy glass to go with that as well. Now I've been running this Kalito 120 now for three weeks. And I've had the same call, well, sorry, I've had this call in this one here now for, uh, I have to be truthful and say about two and a half, almost three weeks. Now the first Cleta 120 call I used didn't last me more than a week. The second one's been performing brilliantly. But you got to remember, the mass produced these calls, so you will get a faulty call every now and again. But I have to take my hats off to them on this one, because I'm a big fan of the first Cleto, I really haven't stopped using it from the day they released it to tell you the truth. And this is a, um, a one that I use every day of the week without failure for work and so on. So I know this performs. And also this call in here has been in here for six, no probably seven, this is the seventh week I've had the same call in this tank. No qualms, no burns. So that's how good their calls can be if you get the right one out of the pack because like I says, it could be it and miss. Now, I'm truly and utterly shocked the way the 120 core performs because I did have issues when I use um, juices like this in the Cleto and other devices. A lot of sweetener in this juice. I mean, a lot of sweetener, and it does clog your coils up very quick indeed. But well, I found using it on the Cleto 120 that hasn't been the case. So I have to say to them, hats off, done a brilliant job on the coils. The coils are actually lasting and performing very well in the 120. Now, um, what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to use the RDA section, RTA section, sorry, system for it. Um, I'm going to wick this up. I'm sure there's a build on it already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just run into the kitchen, wash out this unit here, and come back, and get on with the RDA, RTA section build of this tank. Like I said, I've had it on a road test for now for three, four weeks. I'm, I'm really loving the tank, especially with the coils in it as well. Performs spectacularly. So I'll just, just jump out. Wash out this unit and come straight back to you. Right then, that's cleaned out. Let's give it a nice swirl out inside there. Top piece. And I do like how thick this Pyrex glass is as well. Really done a good job on this glass. So let's get that out of the way. And the coil I've just took out of it. You see little fins there stopping the splash back coming up but this coil has really and absolutely performed spot on it really has anyway so let's get that out of the way let's get down to the, the Cleto RTA section let's get this box open and see what we've got inside here Inside the box you've got your organic cotton, you also got your square screws, um, O-rings, um, oh we also got a ceramic block so you can actually go single coil as well which is quite good, can't go wrong with that. So there's all your spares that you usually got. Let's get down to the section, get out of the way. So there we are, there's your RTA section there, comes off in two parts, this top part just screws off as you can see, and then your middle bow screws off as well, and there's this nice Clapton you've already got pre-built on top. And this with air flows straight to the coils on the bottom, as you can see. And 
and your velocity style deck. Nice and chunky, really is. And coils look quite good on there as well. Right then, so let's screw this piece into the bottom deck. Screws in nice and tight. That's in there like that. Let's get a reading on these coils, what they've got on here. And that comes out at 0 0.17. Right then, so what I'm going to do right here and now, um, I'm going to cotton this baby boy up, get some juice in here, and I'll show you what else I got for this system as well. Bear with me a short second, I'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back. Now, just whip that up. And you can see where the cotton comes into these little slots slightly there. You don't want to pull the cotton through them slots. Keep it nice and fluffy when you pop the cotton down to the sides here. Into the sides just here. The cotton will just come and sit in the hole. So you've got to keep it nice and loose and just poke it down nice and easy. Okay. Now... I'm going to put the outer ring on. Make sure that goes on without being extracted by any cotton. And he's on. Now, for the extension tank, which is the fat daddy. Fat boy to call it. And that is just like from the V1, like a fishbowl style. So let's have a butcher's that just goes on nice and snug. That's where he's looking there. Back off again. Now, what I'm going to do with this baby here, yeah, I'm going to put some of the this glazed donut, which is high in sweetener. For me, it's a good tester on your coils, so your coils hold up. Salt inside. Yeah. It's nicely salt in there. Then we get the top piece. The top piece of your chimney. Let's screw that baby down. Fidgety on my behalf. Come on, Marcus. Get him on. There you go. Yeah, sorry about it. Then somebody just interrupted the whole system there. So there we have it. That's it's looking put back together. Okay. Put the fat boy glass on. Let's see what the capacity is going to be now. Uh, that. And to put him back onto the Minikin V2. Let's give him a shot. He's live. Right. Um, 
Juice, 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 juice. Let's say something here. Yeah. Yep, that's how he looks when he's back up there now. Let's get some juice into this baby. Let's close off the airflow a second. And so this baby performs. Actually, the nozzle I needed to see. Let's have a look. I want to see how much juice actually gets into this device now. Let's use this syringe here a minute. And see if I can get this up to 5 mil. Right. As you can see there, I've got 5 mil of liquid in there. Let me just see what the capacity is going to be now. Circle there. Let's do more. No, I would say that's about four and a half mil. I've just got in there then. get a bit more without going past the top of the glass yeah five mil on the nose right then so there we have it we've got five mil of juice off the syringe in there so don't let nobody tell you it doesn't hold 5mm with extension glass because it does, you've just seen it for yourselves so there you have it and that's not even come up to where um, that rubber is at the top it's the o-ring before you screw your your dowering drip tip on let's push this baby down And there you have it, the Kalito 120 with the RTA section and the fat boy glass. Now let's see how this baby vapes. Let's try and see if the airflow is open. It's wide open there now. Um, I've got it on 80 watts. I think I might just drop that down a bit. Let's take it down to 60. Straight away, that flavour's come straight through that. Like it really has. Lovely jobly, absolutely spot on. Let's take it up to 70 watts. Is that 70 watts? I don't know if you can see it on camera. Let's 
see better now maybe okay let's have a look this flavour still punches out and the reason why I use that juice because I know exactly how it tastes in a lot of my bills so if I do put it into a build and the flavour doesn't punch through then I know I haven't got the setup right in regards to the right coil or I haven't wicked it correctly in this baby yeah, performing straight away perfect beautiful and that will stop you from buying coils simple as that it looks good performs brilliantly the flavors there and let's have another shot going up again Hang on a minute, this fucking thing's playing me up. Oh, power, power. Power, well, come on, man. Right, take it up to 80 watts. Actually, no, I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to jump straight up to 90. Is that 96 there? This bitch is chucking. It's chucking clouds and it's chucking flavour. Beautiful device. Man, trust me what I'm saying. The Cleto 120 tank is one for your collection. If you want flavour and you look for clouds, combination of two. As you know from the first Cleto, no pumps at all. It's a wicked little device cheapest chips blows a lot of the other devices on the market off the shelves and this Cleto 120 is going that way as well trust me what I'm telling you Aspire's done a brilliant job of these two devices so let me just go up to 100 watts on this Oh, you've just gone into stupid mode. Okay, here we go. Taking it to 100. Do you know what? Take it to 120. hundred and twenty watts. Performing brilliantly, you can see the juices coming up, air bubbles are firing back up from inside the holes on the deck. So you know your juice is getting through nicely, and it just really is performing fantastic. It really is. I saw 120 watts. No dry heat whatsoever. Absolutely fantastic. It really is. See, there you have it the Cleto 120 with the Cleto. RDA section, RTA section in it, sorry, for the 120 build. And I've just shown you with the fat boy glass as well. So you can get 5 mils capacity in this motherfucker. You can see how quick that juice is starting to come down off there. Let's that camera forward a bit, level it up. It is performing fantastically, it really is. One of my favourite devices of the last couple of years, the Kalito tanks. They really perform fantastic for what they are. And like I keep saying, these two tanks will blow a lot of the more expensive 
RTAs off the, off the, on the market, off the shelves for whether they actually perform and price all around. I'm very impressed with this device. Right, where can you get this from? Well, the majority of shops are selling the Clito 120. I'm not sure. I had to go on um, eBay to get the glass. I paid £6.99 for the fat boy glass. So if you go on eBay, put in Cleta 120 fat boy glass, there were a few, just a few will come up. Some of the ones charging like eight and nine pounds for the glass. I know the bastards, aren't they? But it's only because it's new, and not many people got it under their shelves while they're charging them prices right now. But if you shop around, you should be able to pick that up for about probably six pound. Well worth having. Um, let's go. Bit of fucking paper, white. Online sites you can go and get the Cleta 120 from www.mrvapes.co.uk and also you got www.m the own store uk.com and you got vape sales uk.com. You can go online and order from any of these three people I've just mentioned there, they're very good. The spot on under the delivery side of things and the price is a spot on too. So this is Moonshine Vapor Out for the last review of this side of this year. I'm wishing each and every one of you, all the subscribers that's been tuning in and watching my videos over the last couple of years, thank you very much for doing so and keep looking in as well and checking in to what's coming up new. Uh, have a great Christmas and a happy new year from me and all my family. Kai's not here, he's out somewhere on his look of hunting jobs that he likes to do. And um, yeah, that's it from me. Moonshine Vapor out. Have a good Christmas, everyone.